Hello all. This video is going to be on uh, how to view your uh, Clonezilla uh, backups and to extract data if you need to. Uh, so far I haven't found any uh, graphical interface uh, to use. Uh, most of it is command line. So let's get started with that. Um, you can go to your folder and uh, take a look. So in my case it's on a separate partition and if you just leave, uh, if you made a clonezilla and you didn't uh, change, it would probably look similar to this. And then uh, we want the uh, image.gzz.aa. Uh, it's named like that uh, because if if you split into multiple um, image files, compressed image files, it would like carry on the a, maybe a b or whatever. The scheme is but as you can see it's only 1.7 gigs and by default the clonezilla I was using uh, it was uh, compressed up to 2 gigs and then split so it's less than 2 gigabytes in this case so it's only one image now if I open this with in as root you see that it is really just a not just but uh, a, G, a compressed file and the actual size is 4.1 gigs so it's pretty good compression on uh, the part of clonezilla so anyway this that's irrelevant you don't really need that but you do need the information of where it is so the path up here data and then the date and then dash image now creating uh, the image itself you could have named this Ubuntu it was Ubuntu or Windows it was Windows or whatever uh, you want to call it. So we need the path and then we need the name of this file and if you have several it it doesn't actually matter you just need up to the .gz or gz file. So as usual uh, I made some notes just to make it easier and uh, this is basically what you have to do uh, to get it uh, readable so you can uh, look at it, extract data or, and so on. So the first thing to do is Whoa, that's too close, I'm sorry. First thing to do is uh, make a directory on, your, you can make it in your home folder. I'm going to make it on a different partition, so in my case it's data. And you can call this folder anything you want, clone. So you make the directory, then you touch data, clone, and you can call it hda1.iso. You can call it .image, .img, and it will still work. So, for example, here's what I've typed so far in the terminal. Make directory, data, like I said, clone. It could be anything you want. Then touch, and then the new the folder you made, and then this, whatever you want to call this, uh, hda1.iso or image, as I mentioned before. Now, going back to the uh, partition, or wherever you are, your home folder, the clone folder, you see now it's allocated this empty it's empty it's zero bytes raw CD image okay now next up is this long command uh, pseudo cat CAT the path to your image so let me zoom in a bit for you pseudo cat and the path to your image directory and then the name of your SD whatever <laughs> it could be SDA1 for example extension 4 it could be NTFS or Extension three and so on, but the dash image dot g z z dot star and then a pipe, not a line. Okay, the pipe and then pseudo g zip g zip and this this option um, again you can change this. Then two uh, switches c uh, slash dash d dash c and then pseudo part clone dot restore and then and so on. Um, I don't want to bore you too much, but that's uh, basically the command. Okay, I would uh, actually open a text document and uh, change whatever your uh, input is here and whatever your output is here, and then just as I have, just take the whole line once you have it set and just copy from a text document and paste it in. To the terminal. All right. So, with any luck, uh, if everything's right, it should work. So, press enter, and it looks, it looks like it's going through extension file system. Shows you the time remaining, and uh, at the end, 
it will say uh, completed. So, um, elapsed time was 38 seconds, and it uh, took a bit of time to uh, sync. And then finally, it says cloned successfully. However, we're not finished yet. So, back to our notes, we have to uh, do a couple of things: uh, extension check, file system check, and resize. Then we can finally mount it through a command. So, first of all, you change directory to wherever your uh, output folder is. And then you do a FS check and resize and finally mount. So we'll go through those. Again, just copy and paste. It makes it just easier and faster. So you change the directory to wherever your output is. Then you do an E2 FS check dash F and then the name of your output file. When you press enter here, it's going to ask you abort. You just press Y, and that's it. And then FS2, uh, resize FS2. Again, copy, paste that in. Finally, sudo mount, and then the dash O loop, uh, dash T, uh, FS um, extension 4 file system. And then again, where your I'll paste this in. Again, where your output is, and then to slash mount, slash MNT. So you press enter. If nothing comes back as an error, we're good to go. So whatever uh, file manager you're using, you can, if you can highlight the uh, bar up here, the address bar, just uh, a slash MNT. And there it is. That's the cloned image. And you notice it has the size of uh, the disk using, uh, in my case, a solid state drive, so 32, 33 gigs or so. So this is the mounted image. There's the home folder. Since I backed this up earlier, uh, there's other, there's another document folder, uh, Kden Live. So that's why there's 10 and 11 files in the uh, regular system. So that should do it for this one. I know it's long-winded and might be kind of confusing. You just remember your input and output. Garbage in garbage out so whatever <laughs> whatever your input folder make sure everything's correct and whatever your output is make sure that's correct when you when you do these extra options all right so that should sum up uh, sum it up for this one and uh thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now